Let's do the meditation. So just take in a deep breath. Let's breathe in. And breathe out slowly. Breathe in again. And breathe out. Breathe in one more time. And as you breathe out, just let go of all your stress. Relax your shoulders. And continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for you. So just do the breathing in and breathing out a few more times. Just to make sure that you have shifted your own state and relaxed your body enough. And also make sure that your both feet are on the ground. So that it's easier for energies to move into you. And now let's activate CK six and EC6, activate. CK6 and EC6, activate. Repeat that to yourself a few more times until you really feel that your sixth chakra, which is right in between your brows and your forehead, you feel that there is a pulse there is being activated. And also in the middle of your brain around eye level, where EC6 is, there's also a house. You can feel that something is awakened there. CK6 and EC6 activate. CK6 and EC6 merge. Feel a shift in energy between the sixth chakra and the sixth energy center as they merge. CK6 and EC6 merge. EC6, flip on top, activate. EC6, flip on top, activate. Zero point, 
activate. Zero point, activate. Feel that there is a light pulse in your heart. Being activated. If not, then repeat this a few more times. Zero point, activate. Until you're consciously aware of that light pulse in your heart. Zero point, expand, activate. Zero point, expand, activate. Feel the zero point within your heart starting to grow. Have no judgment how fast or how slowly it is growing. Just hold space. What is zero point? Expand, activate. Zero point, expand, activate. Each time you repeat this to yourself, feel the zero point within your heart, expanding just a little bit more. And feel your heart opening up. For more of zero point energy from source to come through. Zero point expand, activate. Zero point, expand, activate.
Zero point expand, activate. Zero point, expand, activate. Zero point, expand, activate. Zero point, expand, activate. Zero point, expand, activate.
Zero point expand, activate. Remember that all you need to do is simply hold space, a zero point within you for your connection to source, to grow naturally. No need to judge how fast or slow or how big or small. Your body knows it has its own intelligence. It will make sure that it is the zero point is growing at just the perfect speed for you, uniquely for you. Zero point, expand, activate. Zero point, expand, activate. Zero point, expand, activate. Zero point, expand, 
Activate. Zero point, expand, activate. Feel within your heart how much your zero point has grown. Feel how much your heart chakra has truly opened up. When you're ready, you can take a deep breath in. Feel how much more room your lungs seem to have to breathe in. Take in another deep breath. And let it all go. Take in one more deep breath. And let it all go. Feel the expanded zero point within your heart and remember what it feels like to have an expanded zero point within your heart. Remember this sensation and when you have remembered it then take one more deep breath. Come all the way back into the room. Open your eyes when you're ready.
Thank you, Vinny. Welcome back. I felt it's become so big. It was first like the size of my body. And then it was big and big and big. I even feel like, you know, when you're in the plane and frequency too high and it's something in your ears. That's what I felt this time. It was something in my ears that it's grow and grow and grow. It was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Um, do this practice again, and maybe next time when you feel your chakra and your zero point is bigger, then you can start to ask questions. and see what kind of answer you're getting. I will. It's interesting, very interesting. How am I supposed to receive answers like vision or some thoughts? All of the above. Okay. Different from everybody. Nobody can say how you will get it. Yeah, you will know. Thank you. How about Nishi? She's so relaxed. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I am relaxed, so it's it's good. I. It, it's nice awareness for me because I'm just starting, but uh, yeah, it was, it's different. It's a relaxing. It's different. You were there in this class with Shifu? Yeah. Oh. It's really, really excited that, you know, I'm going to be able to ask myself and find real I, I can ask suggestion from myself. I don't have to count on anyone else. I can ask my source, my consciousness inside and get answer, right one. You know, it's, it's really exciting. You got it. Yeah. See, you don't need me. <laughs> We always need, need you to teach me more and more how to be how to be with myself and be able to do all of this magic stuff. You when you can ask um, yourself and you get answers, you get more knowledge. Then um, as you grow your own consciousness. At some point, you that's what you need to do is rely on your own answers. Yes. It's really wonderful. I like it. Oh. Um, I just want to mention something. I send um, I send I actually send a couple of videos out. No, I haven't yes. checked it. Yes. And um, I just want to actually mention something. The the one about reticular activation system. It's actually um it's Jason Estes uh, video. I don't think it was a particularly long one. It's only maybe about 30 minutes, like 30, 35 minutes maximum. So it's a fairly, um, like, okay, not, not too short, but you know, not, not too long either. Um, that one is really rather relevant because we, it, 
what he's saying is, is really about our understanding of reality. Our understanding of reality. Because when we were young, um, our, um, our mind is expansive because we just we just arrived on earth so we are brand new we uh, we still have all the um limitless potential when we come from source however as we grow and we our family actually taught us they train us with the reticular um, activation system so what the reticular, reticular activation system does is whatever it is not relevant for us to um, know, it will screen that out because there's so much information coming in to our consciousness. It is one of the ways that, um, that actually helps us to make sense of our reality because our reality actually is a lot more than just what we see. Um, because what we see is only a very narrow band of light. There's actually so much more. And our, um, our senses can actually pick up more. It's like when I, when I mentioned that I can see entity, I don't actually see entity like I see you or uh, when I look at myself. I actually see that it is a, it's a silhouette, but it's colorless. But I do know that there is something there because I can see energy movement there. So that's how I see. Most people, they, their eyes is not trained to even notice unless there is a, a like difference in color. Because that's how our parents has tra trained us. Whereas before, I didn't see any of those. I didn't know. I didn't know to notice that it's not just color means that there's something there. Even when it, there's it's colorless, but you can know when when you see that there is an outline of something that, that is moving. So it's only when I caught on that oh okay there is there's movement there but it's not color it's not solid it's subtle energy so then I start to train my eyes to to notice those subtle energy and that's what the reticulous system uh, activation system is it actually is a way to um to program our brain to screen out the things that we are not interested in. But once you, but you can always reprogram yourself and say, okay, I am interested in seeing those silhouette now, or let's say I want to buy a red car. Then all of a sudden you will start to see other red cars. Whereas before, you know, there may still have been 10 red cars, you know, going by the street, but because you're not noticing it. Your brain does not um, even register it. So even though your eyes may see it, but you don't notice it and you don't even know that it is there. There's always been at least 10% of the car's red car, maybe. So, but if you don't know to notice it, then even if it goes in front of you, you don't notice it. That's what the reticular activation system does and that's how our reality is when we make up our mind that oh okay this is reality this is what reality is then all you see is what your reticular system activation system allow you to see you don't see anything else and that's and so the part of expanding our consciousness is to actually expand the capacity of our uh, reprogramming our reticular activation system. When we see the whole picture, not just a narrow sliver of it, then we gain back, we recuperate our 
infinite possibilities because we actually possibilities is infinite it's just that we only focus our attention on this sliver of potential we don't even believe that we have potential beyond that that's why we don't even see it we don't know it we don't experience it the part of training our reticular system um, um, activation system to reprogram it is actually to regain our infinite potential that's that's why i want to actually bring this video um, to all of your attention i think he he did give us an exercise which is is helpful to start to retrain yourself because once you have expanded your mind, then um, new opportunities would come. The new opportunities has always been there. It's just that you don't even know that you are capable of that much potential. You only think you have this much potential. So you only see that much potential. And when you break that barrier, you actually see all of reality, you see all potentials. And that's when you become infinite. So that's like that 30 minute um, video is actually the, the concept of infinite possibilities. And you just have to do one step at a time to start to break open the box that your mind has been programmed. Since you were in a little baby, all your environment is programming you to only see this much potential. The others, it's still there. You just don't see it. You don't notice it. So you, it's not in your reality. Okay, so that's the importance of that 30 minute reality uh, video. Uh I guess we can even do it uh, that says something about uh, the neurons in your head, brain stem, yeah? <clears throat> that project anteriority, anteriorly to the hypothalamus to meditate behavior. So I guess we can even do it through meditation. And they're giving a simple example of how the parents are sleeping and there's a baby sleeping in another room and a big plane flies overhead, but they don't hear it. <coughs> when a baby cries, the mother gets up immediately. Yep. <coughs> so, those that potential, I mean, he, he said, that, what was that? He said that he said, do step by step um, to, to grow the potential. Yeah. So how to do that? What, what steps? Listen to the video. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's simple. <laughs> yeah, so it, the concept is, is very simple. It's just, it takes constant practice to constantly challenge your own thinking, to open your own thinking so that you allow more, you allow yourself to be aware of more of what is actually possible. How you open thinking? I was just wondering if uh, Sifu knows about this and he could give us some command. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> so how do you open? Um, let's say uh, I used to only like blue, for example, I only wear blue and I don't like red. So I 
like there may be a, just one red item in in my wardrobe. I have I definitely I, I I have a judgment against red. I think red is for people that wear red. They are you know proud. They want to show off. And because I am a teacher, um, a spiritual teacher, I want to to maintain an, uh, um, an image, so I don't wear red. For example, I have a judgment against red, so I think that you know, spiritual teacher, don't wear red. Spiritual teacher can wear red. They can wear yellow. They can wear green. What they wear has nothing to do with how spiritual they are. So that. So when I break my own judgment, when I actually look at um, instances of spiritual teacher that actually wears red, when I look into this, like, like whatever it is that I have a judgment against, whatever it is that you don't want to look at, you look at those and you review them. And when you review them, you still um, logically say is, do, does it make sense? Uh, what they are saying makes sense. If they make sense, then you incorporate them in your reality and you open your mind a little bit. The more you are able to question your old beliefs, to open it, that's how you expand and open your mind. I got it. Now I understand. Thank yep. you. Now I wear it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's just that. Whatever it is that you have um, prejudice against or whatever it is that you don't want to go before, consciously take a step in that direction. I mean, don't, don't try to uh, step off a ledge. Just take one step, evaluate. The, is this okay? Can I expand my mind just a little bit to accommodate that? And the more you are willing to expand, the more you can open your mind. And that's how you break yourself um, from the box that you're in out into being limitless again. Got it. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you. Hi. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody, for joining me this evening. Thank Hope you. it has been helpful. Yep. It was really helpful. Thank you. Yeah, Very was. nice. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Good Thank night. you so much, Irina. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.